All right, welcome to Amateur Radio with WHCPT. Captain Don here. I got something pretty cool if you have an Anytone 878 and you work satellites. Um, if you've been following my channel, you see that I use the OpenGD77 firmware on the Retevis RT3S, the TYT UV390, and the Bofang DM1701. Well, they just had a firmware update for the Anytone 878 and it puts the similar satellite prediction and you can work the satellites with the Anytone 878. Same, almost the same as OpenGD 77 firmware. So um, I, I did that um, at the end of this little video here. Um, I put in how you can update the firmware and do it. There's uh, instructions that get downloaded with the firmware. Um, firmware copy that you the file that you put in so um, if you follow them instructions after you download the firmware file what I'm gonna put after this you should be able to do it because I did it so um, if I can do it anybody can do it hopefully so let's take a look at what it does to the radio so here is the Anytone 878 so we're gonna go into the menu um, after you do everything in the instructions, you're going to want to go down to GPS first. And you're going to want to make sure it's on. Okay, and then it'll take a minute to get a, a lock, but if you go to GPS info, it'll show you that it's got a lock. So then you can go back. And you go to where it says satellite right there and hit select. And then you're going to want to hit location. Make sure you select GPS beacon. And it'll show you that it's got your grid square. I'm in Echo November 82LO. So you go back twice. Go down the satellite. And it's predicting the satellites that will be flying over. So... I gotta wait for that. It's a little bit slower than the OpenGD77 firmware, but it's working. All right, so it's telling me PO101 is at 940 UTC. So let's take a look at that one. We'll select that one. Um, it rises in one hour and seven minutes, maximum 49 degrees, and then it shows you the path from south to north and it's at 49 degrees so now you could scroll through it says this is past one of six here's your page for the transmit and receive frequencies and it's got the CTC in it 141.3 so if you key up on this screen it transmits to the satellite now let's see if it's like the OpenGD77 firmware. See if you can key up on this screen. Oops, I hit the volume button. Hang on. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Let's go back. Okay, let's see if you can key up on this screen now. Yep, you can key up on this screen and transmit too. So it's pretty much like the OpenGD77 firmware. Um, it looks like it's got PO101, SO50... Lilisat, PO101, SO50, AO91, Lilisat, SO50, AO27, AO91, Tevel, which there's no more Tevels, so I'm not sure why it's got a Tevel in there. Um, bunch of Tevels. Then there's the ISS, let's select that. First ISS pass for me today is 12 degrees, 13 hours from now. You can key up. And when you key up, you see it says 145992, so it's following the Doppler, just like the OpenGD77 firmware is. How cool is that if you have an Anytone 878? And then I got all my, my channels in here. But anyway, I figured I'd let everybody know about that. I just found out about it tonight, and I put it on my radio. And 
All I have to do now is try it out. But I think my BNC adapter for this antenna is going to be different than uh, than the uh, TYT. So I might not be able to try it out right away. But anyway, um, pretty cool. And uh, the next part of the video will show you once you go to the link that will be in the description. Um, I'll walk you through how to download the files to get the instructions in uh basically show you how to put it on your any tone 878 so uh thanks for watching and here is the video on how to get the firmware on your any tone 878 all right so here's a quick how to on how to get the satellite predictions and make it so you can work satellites with the any tone 878 just like on the open gd 77 firmware um, this page will be uh, in the descriptions. I'll have a link to it. You scroll down and find the radio that you have. Mine is the AT878 UV2 Plus. So it would be this first box here that says firmware update version 3.04. So you, you download that. You unzip it. I made a folder called 878 on my desktop. Unzipped it to there. Um, and it will have the uh, CPS software if you don't already have it and it'll have the uh, and you can you can un you can uh, install that and then it will have the um, the firmware update too now to do the firmware update if you see just above this yellow box here it says firmware update tool you'll have to download that too and open it up on your computer and then after you go into what you unzipped from the firmware update version 3.04 there will be instructions on how to do the update the firmware update uh, i recommend before you even start downloading any of these things to make sure you have your code plug in your radio saved because once you follow the instructions and um, put the firmware on the radio then you got to reset something in the radio and that puts it back to um, factory settings so you'll have to load your code plug back on to get all your your DMR contacts and your um, channels and everything but um, so basically that's how you do it um, and I was able to do it just by having this link and following the instructions in the firmware update download so hopefully if you want to put this on your AnyTone 878 so you can work satellites with it, that this will help you do it. Thanks for watching Amateur Radio with WHCPT, Captain Don Saints 73.